Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back with another tech video. Now in this tech video I'm going to be showing you step by step how to install the Android uh, 4.2 camera which includes Photosphere which should work on any Android device running 4.1 or higher. In this case my Nexus S. You do need to have root access so let's get started. Okay, so uh, what you will need is root access, as mentioned, and root explorer. It's about two or three ninety nine in the Google Play Store, and it's completely worth it. Uh, so go ahead and uh, buy that. Now, after you've got that, uh, there will be a download link in the description. Uh, go ahead and download it. It should say Android four point two camera. Now, I would recommend downloading it, downloading it straight onto your Android device, but you can, if you need to, download it on your computer and then drag it over to your Android device uh, SD card. In the root of it would be the best place. After you've done that, go ahead and reboot into recovery. Now, every device may vary, but if you're using the Nexus S, just go ahead and turn it off and turn it back on with the power and up uh, volume key, or you can go ahead and just do what I did and hit the power menu, uh, power button until you see the menu, and then go ahead and hit uh, recovery. Now, you're going to go ahead and wipe the cache partition. You do not need to do a factory reset. Once that is done, go to advanced, wipe Dalvik cache, say yes, and then go back. And now you're going to install zip from SD card, choose zip. This is why I recommended uh, downloading it straight to your Android device because it's easy to see uh, me do it in case you weren't sure. But again, if you download it and put it, put it onto your SD card, then it should be all the way down on the bottom if I kept scrolling. Now I download it straight to my SD card, so it should be in download. <clears throat> and I'm going to scroll down and it'll say Android, or it should say 4.2 camera underscore t04.zip. Uh, go ahead and click that. I did it real fast, sorry. Go ahead and click that, then hit yes, and then it'll go ahead and install. Once it's done, go back, and uh, you should be able to just reboot system now. Now when it reboots, it's going to go through and say Android's upgrading, and it's going to optimize all the apps, including that one, and then we'll continue. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it's done. So now when you open up your app drawer, you're going to see two cameras and two galleries. Uh, now this is where Root Explorer comes in, because uh, this is going to help you to correct that. Scroll down to System, then App. Then you're going to scroll down and <clears throat> depending on what ROM you're running, it may be a little tricky to find it. But basically what you're looking for is gallery google.apk. Now that's the one that you just installed. Uh, mine says gallery2. Whoops. Mine says gallery2.apk. This is because the ROM I'm running renamed it to gallery2. Um, so just play around with which one. Uh, but basically you're going to go ahead and do this. Um, you're going to long press on the original gallery. Uh, not the one you just installed, so then rename that. Whoops, uh, you're going to want to make sure that says RO. Uh, then you're going to long press, rename, and just rename the extension. You don't have to rename the whole thing. If you want to rename the gallery so it's easier for you to find or differentiate between the two when you want to go back and change it, if you do, uh, you can change the gallery name too, but just make sure you remember that it should be .apk. We're changing it to .bak so that Android, the system can't read it. Um, so that way you don't, it only shows one camera. So now it shows one camera, one gallery. So if we go into the camera, now, like I said, this should work on any Android 4.2 or 4.1 device or higher. Um, now if you've already installed this and you've had problems before, go through and delete through root explorer, the, the gallery that is giving you problems. So if you've already installed this camera in a, uh, from a previous video you've seen of mine, delete that camera from Android and then go through these steps and redo it just to make sure that you're doing it over again. I just want to show you guys that these features work with this new camera though because there's been a lot of people who have commented saying that they can't get it to work or that it's not working right. So uh, here's Photosphere, the last one. Align to start. Now Photosphere does get uh, a little a little weird sometimes. It doesn't it doesn't like line it up straight um, but it also probably depends on which device you're using. Like, for example, I'm using the Nexus S, the GSM version. Uh, maybe if you're using the Galaxy S2, which has, I believe, a dual-core processor, it's a little fast, a little more updated, and render faster. So it does depend on the device you're running. Okay, so the render is done. And mind you, it will take longer or shorter depending on what device you're running. Uh, older hardware, like the Nexus S, it'll take quite some time. Newer hardware, maybe like the Galaxy S2, uh, Galaxy S3, if that doesn't already have this feature, uh, will take uh, quicker. So as you can see, here's the 360. Of course, it's really short and uh, looks really horrible. I just wanted to let you guys know that these features do work. And again, uh, if you have already installed 
the camera and you've had problems with it, either on your Nexus S or another device, go ahead and like I showed you through Root Explorer, delete the one that has, the one that you downloaded basically, delete the uh, gallery.apk, uh, the one that was downloaded, not the original one, the one that was downloaded, and then go ahead and reinstall using these steps. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope it helped you. Uh, if it did, don't forget to give me a like. Subscribe because I'll be reviewing this ROM, which is Jelly Bam. And I will also be going through and doing a comparison with the Nexus One uh, against the Nexus S and the Nexus Four. And I'll also be having some iOS videos uh, in the coming weeks. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.